Hey, I'm Moritz and I welcome you to how to make a track. I recently found this shell on the beach and I poured some water inside and then I found this. It makes crazy out of space noises. Techno shell, as I used to call it, with a uh, water inside. So I take this as the basic of the track. So <clears throat> then I have a metal thing. So I want to add some snare sounds. It basically has a very long release. So it's very good for like this industrial tresor like metal sounds. Okay. Shell off. Shell off. So we have a snare. And what we can also do, I have uh, multiple actuators here on, so we have many sounds, not only one, but different sounds. So um, basically uh, making a bass drum track like this. Actually, the base of this metal thing, I mean, the metal thing, I really like it. It's like a very good metal robot um, and I have it for many years already. I actually found it on a scrap market when they abandoned an old uh, physics institute in my hometown and they were throwing out all the crazy physics um, experiments and this was obviously one of them. And so I just took it and built a robot out of it. But the base of it is not really good, so um, I have another robot, it's called Tripods 1, it's this one. And you basically um, have five different instruments and one of them is this futuristic kalimba. So um, it consists of metal tongs and they are beaten with an actuator, with a motor or solenoid and they make a very deep bass sound. So. What I'm doing is I will replicate this beat that I already have and just put it here in the other track. Let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. So um, what we are also in need of is like hi-hats and for that I take uh, another instrument of my Tripods 1 robot, it's actually this relay thing over here. I sold it off uh, from eBay and the eBay seller he was telling me that it's from an old scientist from Germany um, who, who built in the 40s and 50s relay computers and uh, he sold me like a big heap of this old relays. And so I tried to make an instrument out of that. I wanted to make like a big installation, but I didn't. And instead I built like a very small one. Ooh. And um, let's see how that sounds. So I create another track and let's see how our Hyatt sound we can make. So I think we need some
let's see how that sounds too. Um, so actually we also need some kind of melodies. So um, I developed a relay synthesizer and we can find it here. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so um, basically it's, um, it's relays, which you can, I try to do it at the same time. They are moving very fast and you can take them with a pickup from a guitar. So it's very cool because you can actually take the um, velocity and just do it with your hand. And because it's a very annoying sound, yeah, it's very not nice. So I uh, took an um, effects unit which basically it's a filter from a guitar and it filters off like the high frequencies because otherwise you have like this kind of square, squarish sound. Ah. Ah, yeah. okay. And then we also have like a very, very much of um, attack and we can take this out with an env envelope fellow follower. Okay, that sounds okay, not very nice, but we have a, a reverb unit. So this one is like hardly making use of effects and let's see how that sounds okay first without uh, without the um working my workshop lately and I found a very strange thing that is a cover of a um, of an effect pedal pedal power and it, it has the most sweetest sound ever okay I take this off and it has oh yeah you cannot really hear it if I take it off so listen to this Very nice. Okay, I just discovered it by chance. And <clears throat> I have these actuators which you can actually make beat on anything, on my head, on also on this metal thing. And it goes through like the, this TC Helicon voice live touch thing, but I will just like bypass it now. So let's see. 
metal boing. It's called metal boing. Metal boing. Okay. And with some Very nice. Okay. Sometimes it's a little hard to get all the delays right because, oh man, come on. Uh, because every instrument has like a different latency and so they are sometimes a little out of tune. But on the other hand, I mean, who's not out of tune from time to time? Um, yeah, I think that's it pretty much. Thanks for listening. <laughs>